Hi everybody, I'm going to do a quick video for you about um, an event I went to today and very briefly talk about my week one results from my fitness and health journey. So I'll talk about that first. Um, to put it in a nutshell, I'm doing pretty well to be honest. Um, there were some times where I could have caved and I didn't and I've been keeping up with my fitness and keeping up with my good eating and nutrition and hydration. I'm going to make it my goal this week to make sure that I stay absolutely hydrated all the time because there were two days last week where I know I could have used more water um, and I really, really, really drink a lot of water when I'm working out. So um, I also want to tell you that I stopped by um, one of the doctors that I go to today and um, I, wanted to, I will do a more in-depth review on this, but I wanted to talk about some dietary supplements, um, I can't call them, I don't think I'm, I can call them vitamins, for um, your skin and the brand that I use. And this will be my second package of these. Um, they're called Glycidin Skin Nutrients. And this is the skin brightening formula. And they're capsules. And I really, really like these a lot. And I think these, in combination with um, my good nutrition and my good skincare and my exercise um, are really going to be, it's like the icing on the cake for me. Um, these to me are part of my equation for good skin. So i um, definitely going to start going through these and do a more in-depth review, but I didn't have any. Um, and I threw out the box, my last empty box, so I can't tell you um, I couldn't really tell you much about them, but this has literature inside it, and uh, I'll be reviewing this on my blog, and I'll probably post a little video to go along with it. So the event that I'm going to talk about uh, that I went to today was uh, sponsored or hosted by Aveda, and um, it was called From Greasy to Gorgeous. It was a hair event, and this was the style that I ended up with. Uh, Aveda has a lot of initiatives that work with water and creating sustainable water they work with an organization here in Canada called Water Can, um, and it's a small organization, but this is an organization that goes over to small communities um, overseas, Africa being one, and um, makes sustainable water solutions. So people, namely women and children, don't have to walk um, very, very far with giant jugs to fill, um, to use as their water supply. So uh, in the name of that, they were doing styles that you, they were showcasing styles that you wouldn't have to wash your hair with. So second, think second day hair, third day hair. And I don't wash my hair every day um, because I know you shouldn't wash your hair every day. So this was of interest to me, especially because I did get my hair cut shorter and it is a different color. And I really honestly didn't have much of a clue on how to style it. I was washing it and blow drying it. And then the second day it was just kind of like, but this was this is a great option. It's basically two braids, one on each side, and then some flat iron curls and um, a volumizing spray that's made by Aveda that I actually recently purchased on my own, which um, seems incredibly eerie, eerily similar. Um, but yeah, it was a really it was a really good experience. I was glad to hear about Aveda and that they do have initiatives and they do try to help people and they want people to conserve water. I'm going to do more a more in-depth post on my blog as well because they are sending, they did give me some information about their other initiatives. They do a water walk where they walk the average amount of kilometers that a woman and, and or child would walk to get fresh water and I use that term loosely um, and they do special things at that particular salon in Toronto on Earth Day, which I think is really great. So they did, of course, um, give me a little gift bag, and inside it, I just opened it, is a water a water bottle, a Veda catwalks for water. So they do uh, fashion, things with fashion and water. Also, the Pure Abundance sp Style Prep. Now, I heard about this on Makeup MLC's uh, channel. And um, I, this was the product I actually bought, and here's a mini. I really enjoy this product. The way that I was shown to use this product, you use this on dry hair, and you spray it in, in your roots and kind of work it in, and then you put the hair dryer on it, and that creates more volume. And, um, yeah, it really does. I, I believe it. Now, um, I wish I could say that my style kind of held up, but it is raining outside, so 
And I did have an umbrella, but it's still pretty humid. Then um, the Pure Abundance Volumizing Shampoo, which I don't have. The Pure Abundance Volumizing Clay Conditioner. And what else do we have here? Oh, nice. We have a lip liner and Barberry Bloom, which is the other thing. When I was there at that salon, I was really happy that Aveda is finally coming out with some really bright pigmented colors um very of the season new types of things um very very exciting so here's the lip liner and then a single eye color in lantana which is pretty it's kind of like a peachy pink very nice so i had a great time um and i'm definitely like i said i'm definitely knowledgeable now about how to style my hair especially on the second and third day so um that's all thanks so much for watching have a great day